your dead The only problem is You're not dead, you're alive Step to the left, oh Step to the right You've been marching to the beat Your whole life Well, it's time for you To step on out of line Not yes, I love it. Yeah, we love this. Everything. Okay, everyone, welcome to another episode of Nam this week. Yes, yes. I hope everyone had a wonderful uh, weekend and happy Mother's Day to all of the yeah. moms out there. So important, such an important job, and I'm so honored to be sitting next to literally. I, I said this on your comment, and I messaged you. She's one of the best moms I've ever known, like ever. Like your parenting skills and how you raised your kids and just how you are with them and still are with them is just something to to really honor about you because I, I really don't meet too many people that you know love their kids the way. Yes, yes. or yes. or help them grow to be human. Exactly. <laughs> the best humans. The best humans. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Yes. So, happy Mother's Day to all the women out there, all the moms out there. And, and to any single dad. Yes, I was just about to say that. <laughs> happy Mother's Day, happy Father's Day to yeah. the single dads out there that are out Absolutely. here. Um, thank you so much, thank Melissa, you, for the donation. Um, yes, so today we are talking about procrastination. procrastination which is something that a lot of us deal with and have. And it kind of does uh, bleed over into a lot of aspects in life. Yeah, almost all of them. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's called being lazy yeah. sometimes. That's that's a form, a form. of procrastination. It's a, it's, it's a form. Yeah. Yes, it's yes. Definitely a form. Mm -hmm. um, I think that um, a lot of people are scared of their own creativity. Yeah. And so that is why they tend to... Um, procrastinate right they're just they're they, they get in their own head and so they they make up all of these what ifs what ifs what ifs mm -hmm. and then they're what ifing so long till what they were supposed to do never ever gets done they never even start it right yeah right see but that's that's part of self-sabotage yes right? which i think that 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 is the basis of all procrastination right. is self-sabotage either conscious subconscious right. or unconscious right but the reason why we procrastinate is because literally we are scared of our own life yes scared of yeah. our own light and scared of what the outcome may be and could be scared of fearful of failure right. Fail yes that's the biggest thing fear, fear of failure or, or another thing of what your peers might say yes and and not even judgment. yeah not even your real peers because most at this point in in life mm -hmm. it's all about what social media peers might think yeah and there's a lot of people who are like that and i will be the first person to admit that i used to be this way like i would lament over a post for days people. yeah you would you I did mean, tell me yeah, that you for days me. yeah like, i would put the thing up i would start and be like no 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 Mm -hmm. and start and no 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 and then i'm like oh people are gonna think this people are gonna think that da, 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 you know and so i would then i would just never post it you mm -hmm. know? so mm -hmm. it, it got to be a really a really big issue for me that was holding me back from a lot of successful things because i would not post yeah 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 it would make it's like what, so so were you scared of the outcome or you know i i was scared of the comments right oh, like okay. scared of the comments because i'm 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 multi I have a, 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 my following is very versed, right? Mm -hmm. So there's bodybuilders on there. There's my clients that are on there. There mm -hmm. are people from the tech space that are on there. So it's, it's a wide variety. And I was trying to figure out, well, what do I put that kind of fits everybody? And some people over here might think it's weird. Some people. Oh, so you you're know, scared of the judgment. The of judgment what, of, instead of just right, putting out what, just putting out what you are, what I feel. Yeah, right, right, you were scared right. of what people were going to say about right, you. Right, I right, totally right. really understand. Yeah. Trill Nate Dog said something really interesting. Procrastination can lead to depression. Absolutely. I was just about to talk about depression leading to procrastination, procrastination right. because I remember that when I was a little depressed after a bad breakup right. years and years ago, that I literally was procrastinating about everything in my life because right. I was so depressed. Yes. I was so depressed. You just yeah, and make literally, no, and make no decisions at all. None. Just disassociate, sit, and stare at walls. Paralyzed. All yeah. Day long. yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's 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 a stress response, though. That's going your body going into freeze disassociation to be able to remove and protect your 
your emotional self right. from reality because it's overwhelming you exactly. for physical body. Yeah. So totally. that's that's that stress response. So that will cause people to procrastinate because they literally are disassociated from life. They're not even here. Right. Now there's another thing to procrastination as well. Um, so this is not to toot my own horn, but some people that work uh very efficiently and and in, in, in high high levels of certain things. Mm -hmm. Um and, and I and Billy has this too. We tend to not do well when we prepare mm -hmm. and we do better when we're under the gun with certain right. things. Under pressure. So my my best work sometimes is when I'm under a, an extreme amount of pressure. Yeah. I can put out some tremendous work when I've got time and I plan it out and I do it all and get the whiteboard out. Mm -hmm. It's a hot bag of garbage. It, it's it's awful. So yeah. some things I, I feel like I have more of a creative space in yeah. when I procrastinate. It's really weird. And I've watched Billy do the same thing. No, no, you guys both yeah. actually. And that's kind of how we function too. We don't even like literally yeah, um, two right. minutes before yeah. we got on here. She's like, wait, what are we talking about again? <laughs> right. I was like, I have no idea. <laughs> What's the title? Like we don't, we don't prepare, we don't prepare. because literally we connect to the stream. Right. And the information just comes through us in the moment, right. which is the way that I really like to handle things. Me too. Yeah. With, with this stuff in particular. Yes. It's yes. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And to be honest, when I was preparing for the uh, Manifest Destiny workshop, I prepared for like two weeks mm -hmm. and I was in my computer. You were stressing. Research, stressing. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be and I was like, what did you do last time? I was like, I just went off the dome. I don't know. What you mean. I was like, no. <laughs> So I super prepped for it, but you want to know what? I was nervous and I'm not really nervous to ever get on podcasts. I'm not really nervous to ever right. get on lives or just go, I don't know anything, but it was work, inspiration. It was so nervous. Yeah. I was like, what if they don't like my information? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. You know, what if I mess up my information? Yeah. What if like, you know, so it was, it was more thought process going into that moment. Right. That was like, you know, it made me freak out more in the moment. In the moment, right. Yeah. See, if I, I have more time to think about it, if I prepare, then then sometimes it just makes me just kind of check out. So I prefer to procrastinate in that realm. Yeah. When I know I've got things like this, I prefer the procrastination. But mm -hmm. in other spaces, like, you know, today I procrastinated on doing my run, you know, mm -hmm. like I've got a two hour run that I need to. So sometimes yeah. procrastination happens because you really don't. So it, it's strenuous, right? right it's right. it's like a lot of work, a exactly. lot of a lot of effort. So exactly. it's like you know you kind of procrastinate because it's you're trying to kind of store energy, store energy. but then also at the same time that's a little bit of self sabotage too. So uh, self sabotage. Let's talk about self sabotage. Why do we self sabotage? You know, honestly, I I, I really do believe that the term when he says you're you're afraid of your own light, and I mean I'm finding that out. Right now in the Why school. are you afraid of your own life? Though? Where where will that success take you? You know, if you really sit down and analyze what success looks like, you know, are you have to ask yourself the tough questions. Are you really ready for the limelight? And mm -hmm. I'm I'm really, you know, now with my significant other, really exploring what that really looks like. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have a quiet moment alone. When we're outside of the house, it's every minute. Can I take a photo? Can I take a photo? Can I get an autograph? Can I take a photo? Mm -hmm. All day, nonstop. And yeah. I had to start asking myself, you know, if I, you know, come to the the ability that I, I am in my sport, you know, because even in bodybuilding, I've gotten people with those, those autographs and I was like, oh, this is a little uncomfortable. I'm at Walmart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me give a break. <laughs> But like in the triathlon space, you know, I'm, I'm fearful if, if it becomes that, then then where does my private life go? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, I really consider that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was just watching this this clip that went viral of Ben Affleck and J-Lo and he slammed the door. At right, her. Right, and right, everybody, yeah. everybody on the Internet was sharing it, recording yes. it, talking about, oh, I guess, blah, 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 blah. Right. Oh, thank you, Billy. Thank you, Billy. Fifty dollars. We we balling. We balling. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <Yeah>. Billy. <laughs> yes, these donations, a lot of these donations go to um, underprivileged children, specifically right. CIS Michigan, which is a nonprofit that helps kids with backpacks and food and shoes right. and the jackets really and tutors and getting through school. So, yeah, really, really good nonprofit. Um, anywho, back to self-sabotage. So you kind of was were thinking that like self-sabotage is because you are really scared of what success looks like and how much right. that may change things from right. where you're from, at. from your my comfort level mm -hmm. right i'm really comfortable uh living what was a private life mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um and 
Oh, wow. Thank you so you know? much, Celie. Thank you, Celie. Hey, we brought you all in the day. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I just totally, um, um, that, that portion of it was scary to me, mm -hmm. you know? And so um, also sometimes just knowing that you can push yourself to certain limits, you know, I've, yes. I've taken myself to the top in bodybuilding as I can go and triathlons now a, a whole new animal um, that I'm, you know, taking on mm -hmm. and, you know, to be the best. And in, in it, I've got to turn myself inside out. Yeah. And that's scary. It's scary. It's scary. You know, I've got to take myself to some really weird mental places yes. to get stuff done. So. So I think the base of your self-sabotage is basic fear. Yeah. Fear 100%. of the unknown. Of the unknown. Okay. Yep. So in my opinion, self-sabotage starts because of trauma. Yes. Because trauma will make you look at yourself and it will slowly over time make you lose love for your own self. Right. Mm -hmm. And start pouring into others, giving yes. all you away right. and just kind of and forgetting, forgetting about you and which is like taking love. It's right. You're just peeling away love from you to give to others and you're not giving it to yourself or maybe because you don't feel worthy, of it. You don't feel worthy yeah. because trauma gives you feelings of unworthiness. Oh of yeah. of grief of anxiety of depression yeah. all of these things can make you literally ruin opportunities that are like here here right. you go here's a golden it's opportunity a, right. we've literally dealt with so many people like good friends of mine that i've tried to bring along and you know yeah. put on well, just certain right. things right and literally they will self-sabotage because they are scared of of themselves absolutely you know, that could have very well even been like our our deal, our mm -hmm. podcast here. You know, I had to really make up in my mind that, you know, I'm not on camera all the time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be on camera mm -hmm. every week. <laughs> uh -huh. um, but I felt like the information was just needed. And mm -hmm. so I really had to just close myself off to that and know that, you know, people were going to be receptive and whomever wasn't receptive, maybe the, mo the message wasn't for them at the moment. Exactly. And be okay with that. All you can do right. is be you authentically and right. give what you feel is necessary to exactly. everyone out there. Right. And then what their response is to you is on them. It's on not them, you. not me. Right. Exactly. It's completely on them. Right. If they're judging you and throwing out troll comments and all this stuff, I mean, that's on them. That right. has nothing to do with you. Exactly. That's something that really... I had to work through and like dis like re, not like release from release right because yes yeah because it was so much <laughs> y'all was coming at me <laughs> y'all was coming at me y'all was coming from assist I didn't listen like <laughs> it was rough the first year it was very very rough and this is not uh, the only situation I've right. been in where I've been in front of cameras like back in the day I was modeling I was acting I, I was think. doing a bunch of stuff in front of cameras all the time so I've dealt with all the hate back in my space right. days okay. Yes, oh, <laughs> MySpace. <laughs> the trolls back there, and they were coming at me. So, you know, it's like, but I had to really realize that the the hate, the jealousy, the anger, the attacks that's really, really them. It has nothing to do with me, right? That's because I know who I am. Jealousy. Well, right. it's really you know their own insecurities within because all of your insecurities with, that are put on to another projecting. person that you're projecting exactly right. stem from a root cause in here. Something that happens in here, oh, right? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So get to the root cause. You can heal that that space within right. you, and then you're able to literally release it and not feel the need to judge this person right. for something they said, or judge this person for the way that they look, or judge this person for the color of their skin. Because we're in 2023, right? Now. It's a true story. <laughs> like we should not be <laughs> judging about anything people on the color of this. Of anything, anything. Yeah. yeah. Like anything. literally. Yeah. Literally, anything. I'm guilty. Okay. I'm guilty. It's not like I'm out here perfect. Right. I work on myself every day because I know that I fall short in many ways. Right. But I'm willing to spin it around, look at myself, right. ask others because you can't see yourself. Right. You nice. can't see it sometimes. Sometimes you have to ask an outer source so they can turn around and tell you, hey, yes, this is something that you do that's not necessarily the best for the world. Right. And then once you can turn it around on yourself, fi figure out the root cause of why you did that or why you feel that feel way. Okay. Or, or what, what is the cause of this, right? right. Get to the root. Right. And then that's where you can heal that, that space within you. And literally, you won't be out here like doing the same hey, things that, right. yes. 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 
which will also still, the longer you hold that hate, make you self-sabotage yourself. Exactly. It just will come no, back full circle. That's, that's literally how it happens. Because Absolutely. if you're willing to pour hate out, right. literally, it's it's, it's 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 overflowing within you. That's right. That means that that much, you're up to here with hate. Exactly. And then underneath hate is anger. Underneath anger right. is grief. It's sadness. So you're not getting anything done in life, you know, hence more procrastination. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. So... The basis of what I feel like procrastination is, is self-sabotage, mm -hmm. which it, it, underneath that is trauma. So I feel like, because I, I've done it. Oh, I've yeah. done it. I mean, self-sabotage, a huge movie role. Look, I had I had a role, right, right, that I was cast for. I got the role. I, I got the audition. I literally got the role. It was great. And it was my time to shoot the next day, right? My idea was like, what? Well, I'm Great. Oh no. I went out the night before. Instead of preparing for that role, I went out the night before, got wasted, partied, had my woo celebration. I'm about to be in this big movie. Yes, I made it. And literally woke up the next day, hung over late. Ooh. I was two hours late. So I got bumped. Yeah. Okay. I became an extra. Mm. And I was yeah. like, I did that to myself. <laughs> Self-sabotage, yeah. though. It happens. I, I mean, I was self-sabotaging. Right. I was subconsciously self-sabotaging right. because I felt that not worthy of that that role. Right. And and you know what? It happens in fitness all the time. Mm -hmm. I've been guilty of doing it, being, you know, a big show coming up and, you know, eating things I would never, ever eat a week out from a show. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, <laughs> it's happened before just because I was just overwhelmed with the level of com you know competitors that i knew was going to show up yeah um so I, i've i've definitely done it and most people actually in their fitness life do this um you know they think they're not worthy of being healthy and in shape uh thank you thank louis. you louis we appreciate you louis v uh, right? louis v <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah people think they're not worthy of being healthy and fit yeah you know and they'll they'll make these plans to go to the gym and just kind of procrastinate their way out of it self-sabotaging and never yeah. go right. or go to the gym and then eat all of the garbage food and erase everything that they did in the gym. Yeah. See, yeah, see, do I've that done that time. before. Yeah. I've gone to the gym and worked out and been like, I'm going to donut. And right. I literally I ate a donut. Yeah. <laughs> Afterwards, like, well, it balances the equals out. So right. I guess like, you know, <laughs> well, I've, I mean, I lived in a house with a full gym and sat on the gym equipment yes. and call the kids and let's watch a movie eating. We're sitting on the bench eating popcorn. In the, oh my in the God. Gym. I love popcorn. Do you understand? <laughs> I love it. Too. Listen, I let myself <laughs> indulge sometimes in, in these, these little things that literally are so bad for you. Literally well, popcorn, popcorn will clog your ileal, ileal yes, sequel you valve. If you're not and it, like, it's so toxic. Like it's really bad for you. Microwave popcorn is horrible. It's if you're really going to do it, get a little kernel. Yeah. Listen. I love me some microwave me popcorn. Oh, kettle corn microwave? specifically. Oh, no, I don't do microwave. Corn. I have a um, popcorn machine, so. Listen, yeah. so do we. But yeah. I'm I'm all for the kettle corn <laughs> in the microwave. <laughs> Let it pop until it she don't pop. Poison. I ate a whole bag with my kid the other night. Like, oh, yeah. literally, he had a bag, I had a bag, and we were just, like, stuck in our face. We go to the movies and get the bucket. Just, I don't even need to watch a movie. Just give, give me a bucket of popcorn. I don't like that, that popcorn. So, These, I no, I like well, kettle corn. Only certain movie theaters. So. Yeah, not everybody's. Well, why do we do this? I know it's unhealthy, but listen, <laughs> right. balance is key, right? Because you cannot live this life going so rigid. People are like, oh, you get your nails done. You wear makeup. Oh, toxic, toxic, toxic. I'm like, listen, you got to give and take a little bit or right. else you're going to be out here literally in a, in, a, in, a bubble. in a bubble. I mean, I'm in the fitness space all the time and I have clients that'll, you know, some, oh, you know, I don't eat sugars and I don't eat this and I don't eat that. And I'm like, and they're, you know, demonizing some people that do. Whatever works for you. If you exactly. get, if you feel like you can get away with Splenda and it works for your system and you're happy and you you love it, have it. Yes. Please. I am a sugar-free queen. It, sucralose me up, okay? <laughs> now, <laughs> I ebb and flow on the sucralose because my gut can't handle it, so I know what my limits are. But mm -hmm. I'm not going to let anybody talk me into not having it if it works for me. But here's the thing. It's like once you like heal this vessel and right. you know the stuff that you've gone through, you don't need to tell people don't do don't that. Don't do that. You right. You're something. only worried about yourself. Just, I'll suggest things one time. I used to get really mad if I would suggest something to somebody that I know for a fact would heal help that them. person right. and help that person and take away their problems. And I would get so mad if they didn't do it. But it's like, yo, you got your own yes. journey. Yes. 
And if yes. you want to be out here living that way, it's not for right. me to judge your journey That's because right. it's your journey. It's not right. mine. You got to just plant a seed and, exactly. and let it be. Like, yes. Let it grow on its own. You know? Exactly. Right. Exactly. That's part of growth. Right. Because I literally, when I first got very conscious and into biohacking and all this different stuff, I'd be like, ooh, try this. Yeah, because you want to tell everyone. You're excited about the information. Yeah. Right. 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 You want to share yeah. it. It's like, I would get so mad that like people wouldn't follow my 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 your you know, journey yeah and your advice and your tips right yeah yeah <laughs> yes. what like literally we cannot tell people how to live their life they right. have chosen how to live their life That's it is right. their own experiences that are going to lead them to whatever they need right. to do on this planet exactly you can only inspire them and if you know if, if they're inspired yes. enough to make a move then they will yes. Yes. you know if, if they're not ready yet they won't and, and you should never do anything if you're not ready because then you're just doing it for show yes you're anyway. doing it for show it's right. not for you and yeah. it's it, a change it's not like you're going to change exactly you cannot change for anybody that's right you have to change, change for, for yourself 100 you percent change for yourself right and you have to see it for yourself so if you're walking along like a little sheep following the the leader right right it's you're, you're not going to make any change in your life because right. you are literally just following the leader until you realize that thing for yourself is when you become the wolf that's right. and now you create right. your own that's right. That's right. So with that you know i want to talk about how do you how do you stop procrastinating exactly you know? what are some solutions so i think the first thing that people I know that this sounds very cliche, but I am huge on writing out a goal. Oh, right? here she's the writer. If I'm the writer. You guys have joined us before. Yes. She always talk about I'm writing. Also, <laughs> I'm writing. I'm writing everything out. <laughs> um, I'm visual. I need to see it. Um, I like vision boards. Um, I can't wait for our vision board date. I'm so oh, excited. Oh, yeah. She's her, her. Me and my boo are having a vision board. That's a good thing. Like, that's a cool yeah. date. Something yeah. different that you and your significant other can do. Right. Create vision boards. We together. want to grow together and individually. So, you know, then you're manifesting together because absolutely. you have the power of two. That's right. Yes. Um, I think that you should set the goal though. And it should, it should be, you know, based off of um the smart protocol, right? It mm -hmm. needs to be, you know, sizable, sensible. Yeah. Um, and it, it needs to be re real, mm -hmm. relevant. Um, give it a time frame and don't make it so large, right? So if you struggle with procrastination, let's say you struggle with something as simple as laundry. I think all of us struggle with the laundry. Um, I don't think I any do. of us struggle with putting in in the wash. I think we struggle with the drying portion. I struggle with the folding. That's what I mean. Putting after, it away. after we dry it, yeah, like it, it. it's <laughs> easy for it to just go on top of yes. the dryer yes. and everybody pick from there. And if you're pretending like you ain't doing that, mm -hmm. it's, it's okay. This is a safe space. So yeah. I do it. <laughs> I, got some, oh, listen. I got some sheets on top of the dryer listen, right now. I, I, it's hard for me. Listen, I, I'll, I'll take days. La yeah. Back when I lived in Michigan, I would take days. <laughs> the, the laundry would pile up this freaking big because, you know, little little kid little clothes. Kids clothes. You got to like fold the little shorts yes, and put the yes. little socks together and it takes like 10 hours. Yeah, yes. hated it. Yes. Hated it. So I think starting with something that is at home and that's real. For me, honestly, the laundry is something that I feel like I can kind of just let that be. I'm not worried about the procrastination on that because my schedule is so busy, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm really concerned about the laundry, I just assume I will hire someone to fold my laundry, but I don't want anyone to touch my clothes. Though. Well, you so. have to, so you got to disconnect from um, the, right, guilt the guilt of, of not doing right. something of like, like discern, right? right? You have to have discernment of what are your priorities in life, right? Right. And what do you have time for? Exactly. Don't, don't get on like this is I used to do this too. Like if I didn't do all the housework and do my weekly cleaning Man, and do the cooking at this time, I literally used to be so guilty, overwhelmed, guilty, and yeah. like, you know, just yeah, I'll just, just be and then yeah. you get nothing done. Nothing. Then procrastination turns into zilch. You don't ever that real procrastination. That's you don't ever do it. You say screw right. it. And then don't so, do it. Yes. So start with something small, you know, if it's the laundry for you or if it's cooking, you know, getting the meal done on time, say, okay, I'm going to dedicate 20 minutes yeah. every day to just this one task or every so often to just this one task until it becomes a habit for you, like brushing your teeth. 21 days. That's it right. It will become a habit. a habit. You just have to do it for three weeks. That's right. And then you will start your, your brain right. will literally wire itself, itself. to make it a habit. Right. It will become almost subconscious. Exactly. Yes. And so start again, start with something very simple and very small. Yes. Yeah, something I, so easy. So easy. I wouldn't make it like a, a gym thing. If you're trying to get in shape, 
I really think the first thing that you should do is maybe go for a walk first. Mm. Say I'm going to go for a 10 minute walk outside. 10 minute walks are extremely effective. I give this to a lot of my clients all the time. Um, so just say every day, I'm just going to do a 10 minute walk outside. You're going to connect with nature. Yeah. You know, you, you that's get, a beautiful you, thing. To yeah. Do. Clear your head. So and there's a lot of walk, benefits. walking meditation. That's right. You literally just with you and nature right. and you can be in your thoughts exactly. or not be in your thoughts and just be and present. Just be present. Yeah. Right. So Whatever I feels think right. Yes. that creating that habit, you know, then once and, and why I say write these down, because once you get mastery of it, you can check it off your list. Right? I love that. That's another right. Because now you can give yourself some. Make a checklist. Make now you're checking yourself, oh my gosh, I could, I'm successful here. Yes. And when you tell your brain you're successful, it wants to continue to create more to, success. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So There's an app on the iPhone, if you guys have iPhones, that's right. called Things. And right. I literally even saw something so small as to make my bed. You know, or something right. so small as to send email to blah, blah, blah for right. the day. It's like everything, I'll detail it out in my things daily or weekly. And then I feel so good when yeah, I go when in there and I'm check, check, all, the, all the check marks. Yes. Yeah. And you look at yes. The yes. Record it. Record that stuff. And then give right. yourself props for it. See, that little, yep. I check the box, makes me, gives me such joy. It, I got it done. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm being successful. Right. I'm being, I'm being right. positive. I'm getting my stuff done. So right. it makes it like rewarding. If you can reward right. yourself, I mean, that releases hormones that literally make happy yeah, happiness. Make exactly. So if you, let's just say maybe, okay, maybe that's a bit much for you. Yes. Maybe the goal needs to be just starting your day with some affirmations for yourself. See, I would do that regardless. I would do it Everybody, regardless. Everybody, yes, even you if you have the most way. beautiful right. life ever and you're just super happy, I would still start your day yes. with affirmations. You got to put your armor on. Something positive. Right. I mean, I start my day usually with the Tao Te Ching right. and yes, um, read by, by Wayne Dyer. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, there's another good one. Your word is your wand by Florence Scovelshin. I love that one. That's a really, really great one to start out with. So all of these different things like Sadhguru, he's amazing. Yep. All these things on YouTube. I'll just kind of open my YouTube sometimes and yeah, then I'll just, put on while I'm getting ready in the morning and boom, it puts you in the right, right frequency. Instead of going to your Instagram or your yes. Facebook, oh my God. First, yes. start with you first, right? Exactly. Because you're putting the negative in before you even build yourself up. Absolutely. Right? Let me yeah. tell you a story. So yesterday it was mother's day. I wake up in a, in a really pretty bad mood and I'm like, I don't even know why I don't, I don't, <laughs> Sometimes I just wake up in bad moods. I'm human. I'm not freaking perfect. So I woke up in a bad mood. I'm like, this sucks. I'm in a bad mood. It's mother's day. I'm going to be spending today with, with Billy and my right. kid. And like, we're supposed to be doing <laughs> all this fun stuff. And I'm like, not in the mood. Like I, right. I wasn't in the mood to do anything. So I'm like, how do I get out of this? Right. And I realized it. So first what I did, I went into my body. I'm like, where do I feel this irritation? Right. Where do I feel this anger or whatever right. it is? And then I, I put awareness to it. I was like, okay, I feel a little bit in my chest, a little bit in my stomach. And I was like, okay. And I just sat there and I allowed myself to feel to that, feel that right. for a moment. I became very aware of it. And then I got up, I went into my bathroom, I started getting ready and I put on something very positive on YouTube. And it was sad guru. And it was like a 20 minute talk that he had. And it was just so fulfilling. Right. And so while I'm getting ready, I'm really listening. I'm paying attention to the words, right? I'm not, I'm not disconnected to the words. I'm literally, my attention is on these words. Right. I'm really absorbing them. Right. And after all of that, boom, fine. it was that gone. Was good. Yep. That was good. Positivity will knock negativity out Listen. all the time. Perfectly gotta, you fine. just have to want to pull it into yourself and, and be willing to take it in. Yes, exactly. 100%. Um, Pressed by Diamonds, it's called Things. And things, I think it comes yes. with your iPhone. It's like a blue checkbox. And on, on you if you're an this. Android user, it's this notes. Um, right here. Notes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyways, so I just, you know, the realization of, of even the awareness of being not so happy right. or procrastinating about something. It's like, you have to allow yourself to feel these things right. because we're all human. Right. We're not perfect. We're not robots, even though we are robots. We're just really, you know, complicated robots, but right. we'll get into that on a whole nother show. <laughs> Literally we're just, we're human, right? We yeah. have faults and it is okay for us to go through certain things sometimes. So, I mean, it, it is very, um, here, hold on. It's not. 
Oh wait, oops, things app. Oh, she's typing the apps in the um in the in the chat. But anyway, so it's it's allowing yourself to be okay and not with with exactly. the things that you have faults for. So when I'm procrastinating, if I pay attention and I'm like really hard on myself about right. it, like, oh, I can't believe you didn't cook for your kid again. This is so bad. Like you're procrastinating. Right. You're not even, you don't even want to do this. You're a right. horrible parent, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, that's not, that's not serving, serving anything. Right. It's right. literally making you feel worse and it's making you procrastinate, procrastinate more. more. So you right. have to forgive right. yourself for these things, right? So what I did that morning is I literally put the awareness on my body. Where that's do right. I feel this at? Okay, let me breathe through this. Let me, because I'm okay. Okay, yeah, and nothing's, just, nothing's wrong. Exactly. Right. And I just disconnected from it and right. I observed it inside my body, right? And that kind of took a little bit of the emotion a away little a little bit. And I forgave myself like, hey, it's okay to be it's a okay baby. Yeah, it's okay Sometimes. to feel funky some days. It's fine. Yeah, you, you just wake be up happy all the yeah, time. Your hormones are just like, nah, and you're like, yeah. okay, I'm not, I'm not happy today. It's <laughs> like, it is okay because we cannot be happy all the time. But, we cannot be Mary Poppins all right. the time. But you should you should go deep within to find out what's bothering you. you exactly. Know? Like, if you're procrastinating get you to get out of bed then that means that there's really something wrong. Are you unhappy with your career? Are you not happy with you know, Yeah, try to your pinpoint it. Right. Pinpoint Always it. try so to you pinpoint. You can make it. changes, but if you don't if you don't step inside yourself to figure out what the root cause is, this problem is going to continue to persist. Exactly. Exactly. So you always always try to find the root. Get behind the system, not the symptom, right? right? Because something right. can trigger you in the moment and you really have to figure out is am I triggered because of this in the moment or, or am I triggered because right. three years ago exactly. when that person said that to me, exactly. it just got all bad. So right. and then you're tripping again, like, wait a minute. Yes, you know. exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. Definitely. I think, you know, starting with the goal setting is, is oh, it's amazing. Key. Yeah. And then it's just small things, small, but tiny small, little small. chunks, micro moments will create macro outcomes. That's right. So if you literally take that 10 minute walking meditation every yep. single day, day, I promise all of you within the next 30 days, if you look back from right. the start of the 30 days and then where you're at after the 30 days, right. just from the 10 minute walk. Right. Man, your life yeah. will be drastically different. You'll probably find that you've lost some weight. Yeah. Um, you'll probably find Clearer. that you're walking maybe 20, 30 minutes mm -hmm. now, if not maybe yes. even longer. Um, because you you felt really good out there and connected with yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's really at the end of the day what's happening. As we age and we have our lives, we get married and children, we get disconnected from what we always believed inside of us that we can do our dreams, Absolutely. aspirations, right? Yes. So you need to use that time to kind of reconnect with yourself and exactly. what you really want to do. And, and that's another thing you should probably do if you find yourself procrastinating, figure out if you really are at where you want to be in life. Right. Right. Yeah. Because exactly. that'll create some things too. Right. Now, if you're always late for work, the job that you have now, but you, it's it's, probably you, you don't really you. like it. It's not, you your, don't, it's not your thing. So right. what else? How can you pivot? Right. How can you pivot and make it better? Also know what you're doing while you're procrastinating, right? right? Are you scrolling? Yes. Are you scrolling while you're procrastinating? Right. Because honestly, external issues. Oh my goodness. So we just started this in our family. We have days where we don't touch our phones. We're not right. on social media and nothing, nothing. Right. right. And what I realized is that I love my life without social media. Like, uh, it's, it's so, it's great. Oh my God. Once me and, and connect listen. together, it's no more phones. Phones are, yeah. they're done. They yeah, they I know. Know. Sorry, boo. I used to talk to her all the time. <laughs> and now I don't at all. We have a, we have a she can send me like one text a week. I'm like, okay. Hey, boo, I love you. It's okay. I love you. <laughs> It's okay. I forgive you, kind of. But kind of. it's okay, I guess. <laughs> Really, not really. Okay, it's not okay. <laughs> she said, "Me." She said, "Me." Messages, acknowledging that I'm hearing my sister's messages. So we're gonna do better with this. Hurting <laughs> me. <laughs> See how you get it out. You gotta get it out. <laughs> this is self counseling right here. <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> totally gets the trauma. <laughs> we laugh about it, but we fix it. <laughs> <laughs> i'm cool with these hours one, one hour a week we're good good guys it's awesome so yeah, moving on. Like, 
No, but no, this, this is, is perfect. Okay. So when you have, uh, all right. <laughs> I got it. No, really, when you have relationships that are, are really close to you, you're like we're really close and I love you. Um, you're my sister. So what I hear and what I'm acknowledging is that you need me. I do. Right. I and do so I you. hear you and I, I you're heard and I'm going to fix that because See? I hear you. No. Yeah, I, I hear that. People literally, they, see, this is very mature. Yeah, that's that's what's supposed to happen. Exactly. Right? Exactly. You have to nurture the relationships that you have that yeah. are meaningful to you. And if you can't take a moment to listen, we're laughing, but I'm listening, and it's it's going in my ear, and I'm like, okay, we're laughing about it, but really, she's saying, hey, hello, like I'm here. I, I need my person. <laughs> I need my person. And yes. so, um, yeah, I definitely think that, um. Yeah. Maybe you'll text me like hear you. times a week know, now. Right? <laughs> Instead of just once. Instead of once. <laughs> like, what are we going to do right. on the podcast? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> on, on Monday morning. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. But it's like, it's see, awareness, right? It's awareness right. is key. And it's really dope that you picked out and you were aware in that moment. Even though right. we're just joking back and forth. Really, right. it's all good. You it's know, all, right. I know it's like love. I'm love, not really, right. I'm not mad or nothing like right, that. Right, like, right. It's, it's all good. But it's dope to have a person that you can joke around with and throw some things because everything through a joke means something. Something. There's Absolutely. some little underlying something within jokey jokes, right? right. Always. Always. Right. So that's the way we use to kind of break the ice to get it across. Yes. Right? Yes, exactly. So it's cool to have a person and friends like that that right. can literally hear you. Right. Not just like hear you and listen, and, right. but not just hear and it's just going, you know, oh, off the yeah, other end. Right. But they can hear you and listen to you and make the changes to be better. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah, because, you know, Sometimes you end up with that's the only people you have, exactly. right? Exactly. Because I know where I was months ago. Yeah. Right? And you're like a rock. Right? Yeah. So I know. I already know. I know how this feels. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I, I get it. Yeah. 100%. Yes. yes. Yeah. And that's what's important in life, you know, really, because we're all human. We all get lost in the sauce sometimes oh, because yeah. it's just life, right? right? It's life. So it's it's be, being around people who can turn mirrors around to you and show you like, hey, you know, yeah. here's this, here's this, right. and and this. this right. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back to so, solutions yes. on procrastination. So I think that another another good solution for procrastinating is even like something more so than just a 10 minute walk. Mm -hmm. But like for me personally, it was like I was procrastinating on the gym for a, probably a year, right. right? Like I know for a fact that going to work out makes me feel good. I'm not a good person. I, I know I'm a good person, <laughs> but if I don't work out, I'm a shit show. Okay. Like I <laughs> am not good. nice. Nice. No, I'm really actually mean, super mean. Yeah. And like I get attitudes and I just like feel like crap. crap. And I didn't yeah. even realize this was happening. And then when I went to the gym and worked out, I was like, oh, I feel good I'm again. Good. <laughs> Everything's like, great. Yes, because yeah. literally physio your physiology changes when it. you work out, when you get exercise, yep. endorphins. You, you need them. It's yes. what your body needs yes. to continue to function. Mm -hmm. You know, and without them, you can put yourself into a depressive state. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, so the other day I was feeling a certain way and I'm like, I don't want to stay feeling this way. Right. So how am I going to move through this? I was like, oh, I'm just going to rollerblade. So I right. literally just went rollerblading for about 20 minutes and boom, I'm good. Yep. You know, good. I, I, everyone needs to find their inner child, you know, because mm -hmm. we were active majority of us as kids. Yes. Um. So find that inner child and just go run around, find yes. something to do. Meditate on Meditate that on, too. Yeah. What did you used to love? love. Right? Yeah. When you yeah. used to daydream and being that, and just that presence yeah. of the childlike love and happiness. Anything was possible. What were you doing? Right. You know, like, can you meditate and literally put your body back there? Because that's so cool to me. What we were doing when we were daydreaming, it's not daydreaming meditating the whole time exactly that's what we were doing we yes. didn't you know, we didn't have the appropriate name for it back then we called it daydreaming and, and we were often told sometimes by adults that it was silly or you need to stop and that's why mm -hmm. we've kind of disconnected from that yes but it's a natural part of our being to meditate right? it is and our brain waves are yes. literally in theta zero to seven right. that's the programming that's yep. when all of the subconscious is formed, is formed. 
So when you meditate, you're literally going into theta. Your sub, you can pull in things from your subconscious. You can pull out things from your subconscious. Right. That's when magic happens. Right. So if you can literally put yourself into that state, I mean, it's beautiful. Like go sit in the corner tonight in silence, five minutes, yep. and try to bring those feelings back. Like imagine yourself as a child and doing the things that you used to love or just these memories that you've kind of lost and not even paid attention to in a really long time. And hide and go seek. Things. Yeah. <laughs> hide and go seek game with the neighborhood people. Like yes. catching lightning bugs. Exactly. Doing those yeah. little fun things. Like yesterday, well, we're going to have it probably either today or tomorrow. We were supposed to have a dance party for Mother's Day because my son and I, we had dance parties weekly. And I love dance parties, right? Because yeah. I used to dance all the time when I was a kid. So we would have dance Gotta parties. Have dance party creates endorphins, That's right. brings the childlike behavior back. You don't take life as serious, That's and right. literally, you just that, that brings out the fun in you. Maybe get the kids. Listen, <laughs> we, had we, had, we, had, we had karaoke with the kids when they were younger, oh. but the whole thing was you had to dress up so. Poor boys were dressed in drag. I'm sorry, guys. But, hey, it was a rule. <laughs> the dad didn't like it, but hey, it's just a, it's just a home concert. <laughs> yeah, but find that inner you yes. and 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 figure out what you love. Connect back to that. You know, we are so yeah. safe when we get older because we've lived a life and went through so many hard things right. and got treated badly so many times, got yeah. screwed over so many times, and it makes us hard. It makes us push away that childlike behavior, yeah. the laughter. We take life too serious. We do. Yeah. That literally steals the fun away from life. Right. When you take it too seriously, you have to let go. Yeah. Seriously, like yeah. literally yeah. let it go. Yep. So I think that's another another good solution, you know, to kind of just get out of that rut of procrastination. Um, and again, just going back to the touching on social media, if you are scrolling all day, you know, there's a lot of questions you need to ask yourself there. Yes. You know, why are you scrolling? What are you running from? You know, are you that discontent with yourself that you feel like you just want to live vicariously through everyone else's reels right. all day? Yeah. Right? That's a, a, that's something people do. I I've mean, noticed. it's very addictive. Social media right. is addictive. It is very addictive. With right. the first family day that we had and I didn't have my phone, I was wondering. What, like what's happening? <laughs> reaching for my like wait not here no phone okay i gotta be here with the people that i, was, I love I wonder how my post is doing yes yes i never look still but I yo, so you. much time is cleared when you right when you don't so much of my day hours oh my god hours are cleared it's like oh this is fun yeah i like being present with my family Yep. Wow. And, and you can get things gotten done. away from. Right. So mm -hmm. what you could do is say, okay, don't, you know, don't go so drastic and say, if you're, if you're addicted to your phone, maybe don't go so drastic and say, I'm going to take it away. Right. Yeah, no, That's no. going to make your, your brain blow up. Oh, Put time, time limits on it and, and, and say, okay, well, I want to start this business. Let's say this is something you want to do. And I've been procrastinating on getting started. Well, see how much time you're spending on your social media a week. <laughs> And say, okay, 10 hours a week, maybe more for some, I don't know. And say, okay, I'm going to only spend five hours on social media this week and five hours on building my business. Ah, split the time up. Split the time up, right? Yes. Because you will eventually need to go to social media to promote your business. So you still want to stay present there. But now right. maybe you change what you're looking at on your social media too in those five hours. Mm -hmm. You're looking at people that are in the niche of the business that you're trying to start. So right. what your competition is and what they're doing. And now you're looking at what they're posting so that you know how to outbest them when you're ready. Right? right. So you're preparing your business really on both ends and you're not wasting your time looking at somebody's fat oh. booty with, you know, the, the pant, the, the BBL, I don't know what, you know, whatever. Yeah, what's the BBL? <laughs> <laughs> and the lips. If anyone's got a BBL, no, no, no disrespect. I'm just saying, you know, ladies get caught up with that boy. Look at this. And I'm like, I'm not sure why you're looking at that. I'm confused, but whatever. Um, so, you know, what? also it builds up both sides. Right, like, you're it's building, building confidence right. because you're taking away from comparing yourself from all right. this, looking at things that you wish you had and didn't don't have. Right. And you can get ideas. Exactly. And then you're throwing it into you, right. which builds you as a person. So now you can be proud of yourself. Exactly. You can be, you can feel like you're doing something. You're right. being very, very um, positive with your right. time. And you can even put a post out there that kind of makes you not procrastinate by saying coming soon, mm -hmm. right? Because now you've put it out there in the universe that something's coming. 
And so you'll it puts you under the gun to say, oh, I gotta get I gotta get my stuff done, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So you know if you're if you're you let the social what I'm saying here is let social media work for you and not against you, right? If you're already you're addicted, to it, like it. work with it, right? Yes. Right. See now I've gotten so far away from scrolling and being on social media right. that I literally will just post in the morning and then I'll just kind of leave it. And then if I ever feel like looking at comments or just growing a little bit, I'll a day later. I'll right. go back and I'll, oh, okay. You just taking a note out of my book. Yeah. <laughs> next week, it's fine. They're fine. <laughs> They're okay. Yeah, I make we, them feel special the next week because I'm like, oh, this is And me. then you come in and then you, and then you like it like a week later. I'm like, dang, man. <laughs> I thought about you a week later. You're on my mind. <laughs> no, but I mean, it really works because now Absolutely. I'm at a point where I really don't even want to be on it like yesterday was it was a day was right. not a day and we we made a couple posts and stuff because it was mother's day and we did right, we right, did a right. little right. push and right. everything but really it was like i don't even really want to be on my phone right now i really exactly. want to spend this time with billy and my kid right. so that's what i'm gonna do and right. that's pretty much what we did and i we had a beautiful day yesterday you know was yeah good. so I'd, I'd hate to think that you'd miss something so extremely important mm-hmm. because you were scrolling mm-hmm. On your phone. Listen, there's this meme with this young granddaughter at lunch with her grandpa, right? He looks very, very old. Right. And she was just on her phone. And it's like, you're wasting away this time. This person does not have that much time That's left. Right. Right. And you're spending the time that you have with this person, not even paying attention to this person. Right. And it's like, yo, what is that? What is that? That's not even real. Yeah. Social media is not real. No, it's a tool. It's a tool. It's a tool to 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 grab attention, but you have to be careful how much of your attention it's grabbing, you mm-hmm. know. So if you need to clean up your your feed and just put things on that's going to help you forward advance your life out of the situation that you're in, mm-hmm. you know, like my my timeline, my feed, I guess I should say, is full of everything about the sports that I love to do to keep me highly motivated to see what my competition is doing. Mm-hmm. Tips on how I could be so better. So yeah. that, that feeds, feeds me. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So yes. that's, I think that that's, that's really important. You know, what you're taking in, if you're watching people get stabbed and killed or doing all these stunts and they're your breaking their foot. Stuff. Yeah. You think that stuff is not affecting you on it a daily is. basis. It is somehow, some Absolutely. way. If you're feeling under underlying irritation, pay attention to what you're taking in. Right. Because even if you're not consciously taking it in, your brain is consciously processing it. Right. So it's going and being stored inside of your body. So no matter what, you have to pay attention to what you're paying what you're attention, paying attention to. to. Exactly. Because it, it, it's so, so deep. And see, being on social media, like you you get very comparative. You know, it's like the comparison on oh, my life. Right. I wish my life was. I right. wish I looked. I wish I, I had that body. I but wish you don't I was. Know what that person has gone through to get Exactly. And that's, right. it's not real, right? Yeah. What is real is what is in front of you. Exactly. The people that are around, around you, you, these moments are real, not I, this. Not, I can assure you, you, you know, some people can go on my page and look at my body and be like, wow, she looks phenomenal. But when I tell you I train almost 40 hours a week, you'd be like, oh my God, that's disgusting. But that's the truth. You know, it's the reality of it. I'm exhausted almost every day. You know, it's, it's yeah, we were both sitting here. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, she was like, eh. yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a grind, you know? And so you guys are only getting to see the, you know, the highlights, me cycling next to the beach and, right, you know, but exactly. you didn't see me cycling on that dirt road and my saying, face is still- the- stuff we don't show the work behind the pretty stuff because literally we'd yeah. be so it'd be boring it'd be boring yeah literally boring like yeah. i sat and worked today all for a lot of hours just in front of my computer like right. do you want to see right. that i don't want to see that no. yeah. you see things like right. we show the pretty things because right. that's what people gravitate to that's what's interesting right but we want to be honest and tell you that that's not what's happening no, all day long hard work right. that goes behind it. everything okay Absolutely. Everything. I mean, sleepless nights. Oh my gosh. Bad habits. Like it's just, it's a lot. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's a, a lot, lot that it's goes behind so, whatever yeah. is shown out there. Yeah. People get so caught up mm-hmm. and don't get, well, don't get caught up in comparison. Right? Yeah. No, no, no. Because that's a right. huge basis of procrastination. Right. Because now you, you're just like, you, it's self sabotage. Right. Again, self sabotage. Analysis paralysis. Too, right? mm-hmm. Now you're looking at it, you're like, well, how am I going to get there? Because you're trying to, you're trying to get to it based off of what you see someone else doing versus analysis your paralysis. Right. I really like that. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's what happens. That's what happens. So you overanalyze until you do mm-hmm. absolutely nothing. And you paralyze. You get paralyzed. Right. Exactly. 
See, I love yeah. it. That's what we do. I love it. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Any other solutions that you can think of? Um, no, I think we touched pretty much on a, on a lot touch. of them. Yeah. We touched, you know, just, just get, get centered with yourself. Yeah. You know, find out what you like. And if maybe on your goal list, well, I said, start small. Maybe the goal needs to be figuring out just who you are and what you like. Exactly. And maybe you need if to do that If you're inside of your passion, days. then you will thrive. Right. No matter no what. No matter what. Yeah. If you're inside of your passion, right. because you love what you do, you exactly. throw yourself into it. Right. That's how I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm a pretty good manager with things because I can kind of see. Yeah. You're amazing you know, with that. I take people out of what right. I know because they're, they're messing up. Right. So an employee might be messing up right. in this area. I take Delicate. them out of that and then move them into something that they love to do right. because I know that, that they will thrive at it. They will love it. They'll pour right. into that. Right. You're great at that. Absolutely. Yeah. So it, yeah. it's like, it's not going to work if you hate what you do. You're not going to do a good job. Do a good job. You're right. going to procrastinate. Right. But when you love what you do, you don't procrastinate. No, you just what you want to do. Just do it. I mean, right. you were here on time today, yep. Yep. literally like 20 minutes ahead That's of time. Right. I was like, not be procrastinating. Be because guess right. what? We both really didn't feel like doing this tonight. Right. But guess what? We're here we're because here. we love it. I love right. it. I was like, oh, it's going to go shoot. I it. Because yeah. even if we might not be in the mood, whatever, it might not have had a long day, right. we're but tired. I, we quickly get into it once we, we get started. Then I love it. I'm like, oh, I'm so we glad. Yeah. I'm yeah. so happy that we did this tonight because right. it's like, I don't want to procrastinate because this is my passion. It is my passion. It is everything I've ever wanted to do. And I love to just throw myself into it. So, right. I mean, this is like, that's what you have to find within yourself. What creates that fire within you? Because exactly. if you can connect to that fire, you're not going to procrastinate anymore. Right. And that's a good word that you use, the fire. Mm -hmm. Finding out what you, what made you fiery when you were younger, right? Mm -hmm. There's always something that made you fiery. Find mm -hmm. out what, try to go back and figure out what that was that made you feel like you were on top of the world every time you got close to it. Mm -hmm. And just... Travel, travel down that path. Yeah. I, I don't care if it's something like you. Let's say you want to be an actress or a model and you don't think that you're worthy enough. Well, let me tell you something. There are, are people that are becoming actors and actresses in their 80s. Yeah. And models that are of all sizes now. Right. Yeah. So it doesn't even matter. Those things no longer exist. So this if you're using those dancer on the Miami oh, Heat dance man. team. Man. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, exactly. you can do whatever, whatever you, you want. want. Right. So. Take that and just just whatever made you fiery and just go down that path because I can assure you there's someone that is doing it in that space that doesn't look the part in, in what society used to say right. it was, right? Right. So just, right. just go with it. Exactly. You know? Because literally everything is possible. Everything is so, possible. So really, it's figuring out what is the root cause of procrastination. That's right. What is, what is the root of this? Where is this stemming from? Kind of heal that space within yourself, whatever work that you need to do. Right. Journal, meditate, meditate, brain train. Do you do the biohacking stuff that I talk about all the time? Right. And then heal that space within you and really just pour into, figure out what is that what passion is that of passion? yours. I did, what I did, lights you get a goal to write that down for 21 days. Yes. Right? Yes. The things that you like to do and create this checklist and then see what keeps recurring every 20, you know, throughout yes. the 21 days. Like what's the common what thread? Do you do with energy from right. right? right. What, what do you leave feeling great, lovely, happy, right. and full of energy? If you are ever stressed, depressed, and like, ugh, after right. you do something, it's not right. for you. It's not for you. And you're wasting time. Yeah. I literally stayed in a career. I was in a career for six years. I was a chef and I hated it. I loved being creative and creating these pretty desserts and making these little pretty things. I love that part of it. But right. being in the industry, I literally Didn't wanted to die yeah. every single day. And so I wasted, but I don't think any, I don't really like. Yeah, I don't believe. Look at it. Yeah. yeah. It's never wasted. The treats you made for New Year's were amazing, so it wasn't wasted. <laughs> <laughs> Salad well, wasn't wasted. I ate quite a bit of them. I was sick as a dog, but you know, that's another <laughs> story. But... <laughs> you know, I could have pivoted a long time ago right. and probably been a little bit further along in my career that I love, which I found I'm doing, I'm living in my passion right now. Right. I could have pivoted a long time ago, right? right. So it's like, realize what you're doing. And then pivot. Don't be scared, yeah, don't be scared to, to pivot, pivot because you can do anything that you want to do. And what happens? Sky's you know, the limit. If you fail, guess what? What? You're failing already by not trying. Exactly. Right. Exactly. You're already you're already failing. You know, it would be easy for me to say, okay, 
at the, the, the height and the weight that I am that I cannot do the sport of triathlon, yes. right? I'm, I'm, I'm extremely heavy for a triathlete. You know, it's just, hey, it's not the body type for if it. If you believe it, but I, you can do it. Exactly. I can run, I can bike and I can swim. So, you know, it's, it's on me to be better. Mm -hmm. If I, whatever I'm weaker at, I keep working at, keep working exactly. at, keep chopping away. And that's, that's, that's my mindset with that. I mm -hmm. can do anything that I want to do. Yeah. Who, who, like they said, who is they? No, we can't, we haven't seen right dictate to you exactly about what, you. what you what you think you can do right yes exactly so. exactly right yeah don't take it so many right, follow right. said that we have terrible advice but that's your opinion and that right. is okay right you don't have to follow it right We're just giving suggestions it's exactly. literally just lending suggestions that's that have right. worked for us so it just quite might possibly work for you but well, we appreciate your comment and um <laughs> this is a safe space you can always share here with us exactly right. thank you for listening yeah you, you, you might find time. a little piece of good advice in here somewhere right. and, and, and you know what you. ashley do you have a piece of advice that you'd like to put in the chat you know, you, you've, you've been what right. May you've been help with procrastination. So, yeah, I would love to hear it. Drop something. We'd love to see it. Because yes. again, like I said, this is a space that's safe and sharing. Mm -hmm. um, we don't kick anybody out for their comments or whatever they think. Um, but if you have something to offer, offer it please, up. Yeah. Please do offer it up because we we take advice too. I mean, That's I'm right. all for learning. Me this too. Is, yeah. I'm human. I talk about it right. all the time. And, and this is our community. It right? is. So we want to bounce ideas all the way around. It right? is. You're exactly. definitely not the know-it-all. Exactly. No, no. I don't ever pretend I'm a know-it-all. I yeah. just tell people from my own experience That's what's right. worked for me because right. I've been through this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that, and I'm here now. Right. So right. I think that I've created some sort the of level of success. Exactly. In my life. <laughs> so I'm just trying to, you know, share it. Right. Yeah, that's right. So. Exactly. Yes. So real quick, let's go over what we talked about for solutions. 10 right. minute meditation walks a day. Right. Walk writing down the goals. Journey. Starting small. Yes. Start small. Do not make it huge. Right. Little pieces. Little pieces. Don't overwhelm yourself. Right. Create lists, detailed Detail. lists of things that you have to get to done. Check, but off. check off. Check right. them off. Feels good. Right. It feels good. Do the work. Do the shadow work that it That's takes to right. stop self-sabotaging to fill your life up and yourself up self with up. love. Affirmations. Start your day with affirmations. Absolutely. Do not touch your phone yep. unless the affirmations are going to be something you play through your phone. Yep. Um, Create family know. days where you're not on social media. You're right. not working. You're literally just with your family. Your family. Present with your family. Right. It oh, makes a big difference. Minnie says that we suggest reading Jordan Peterson. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We Thank appreciate you. I that. will look up Jordan Peterson. Actually, right. I don't even know who that, know who that is, but we will look it up. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Um, is that the one who murdered his wife? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't it's even know. Peterson, but oh, heard of it. My crime watching videos. Yeah, no, I don't watch that. <laughs> See, I don't like all that stuff coming my consciousness. <laughs> I see I've been here already. I don't need no more else. Right. So let's yes. say go to bed early. I agree. You know, sometimes going to bed early like to give yourself early. a better. The start sleep. to your day. I love sleep. You know? I really do love sleep. Yeah. I really love Well, sleep, sleep is your recharge, right? So to yeah. be quite honest, if you do have poor sleeping patterns, you're not recharging your brain all the way. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take it a step further and say, you know, when you start to get memory loss and things like that, cognitive issues, mm. if you're not sleeping well, it really stems from that. I know yeah. they're trying to do all these studies to figure it out, but I think they're missing the big picture here is that sleep most is people the don't sleep. They have poor sleep hygiene, yeah. right? Yeah. It's the, really yeah. the basis of yeah. all sleep. It really is. Mm -hmm. So definitely. Yes. And I think that's it. That's it. Someone says they love Jordan Peterson. So we should look okay. it up. Definitely looking it up. Carolina love it. I so thank you. That. Yeah, we're Minnie, gonna, we're I, think, gonna, I think your yeah. name is Minnie. Minnie. Something. Yeah. Well, we again, see, that was a, a great suggestion. Yes. We can, we can utilize it, look it up and mm -hmm. maybe discuss it if we find something good that's in it. Yeah. We that's appreciate that. Sure. Yeah. We, we appreciate, appreciate that. it. Um, and that is it for the show yeah, tonight. That's it for us today. I'll yeah. be back in 15 minutes though. Which yeah. We're going to be talking with, um, I'll, I'll be talking with Billy about the top three nominees for the conscious nice. awards. So we posted the top three nominees and we had like thousands and thousands and thousands oh. of votes. So thank you guys so much to whoever participated. We will be announcing the top three nominees here in 15 minutes on the channel. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, thank you. We really appreciate you guys. Yes. And we appreciate all the comments and mm -hmm. the community and no procrastination this week. Let's yes. make that our goal for the week. Yes. Yes. Make it a goal. Just make little micro changes, micro create changes. macro outcomes. That's right. Exactly. So thank you so much, you guys. And we'll see you, we'll see you next week. Yes. Yep. Yes. All I'm right. so glad we did this tonight. Absolutely. <laughs>
All right, y'all. See you in 15 minutes. Peace. Peace, peace. peace.